All right, I get asked all the time, hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Or it starts out something like that. Sometimes it varies a little bit. Hey, Chupa. Or, hey, Gringo. Or, hey, Beast. When will my mangoes fruit? Uh, how long is it going to take before they fruit? When I buy them from you. How long is it going to take, Chupa? The, the Latin people, for some reason, they think I resemble or act like the Chupacabra. And uh, that's a mythical, well, we think mythical, uh, blood-sucking, uh, goat blood-sucking animal from Mexico. It lives in the mountains. It's really hairy and scary. So I don't know why they think that. But anyway, they call me that. Um, got a lot of other nicknames like uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, uh, Cro-Mag, Link, uh, Silverback. <laughs> it all kind of revolves around a certain theme. That's been going on since sixth grade. Every group of guys I meet somehow comes up with something new. It's really irritating, but I put up with it. Uh, anyway, so now it's scary, hairy, Gary. Uh, yeah, so uh, your mangoes are going to flower right away. They're going to fruit right away. Is that a good thing? No. Why is it not a good thing? Because they're tiny. Look how small they are. Look at these little things. You don't want that to fruit, but it's grafted. Look, see, it's grafted right there. So we put a mature piece on top uh, here, and then it grows up, and then it's ready to flower right away. Now, we're sort of circumventing the laws of nature by doing so because uh, this tree is not big enough to support all this fruit. So what you need to really do is say, no, it's not about when it's going to fruit. It's about when it's ready to fruit. This tree is certainly not ready. It'll fruit to death. I'm going to cut off all of these uh all of this stuff here. Now, what's interesting, some of these flowers are just flowers. Others are flowers and leaves. So hypothetically, you could leave the shoots with the leaves and just cut off the flower portions of that. And you'll end up with, uh, you know, a stem that'll eventually turn into a branch. Um, but, uh, or you can cut them back entirely. I'll probably leave them when they're like that. I'm going to leave that branch. But you can see it's a flower and it's a, it's a flower bract. And it's also a leaf bract, so two different types of flowering here. But as you can probably see, these things are, there's actually a little fruit in here. And every time the fruit happens, it takes lots of energy away from the little baby plant. Would you want a nine-year-old girl to get pregnant with, like, septuplets? <laughs> that just doesn't seem like a good idea. And likewise, it's not a good idea to let these little fruit uh, fl uh, flower and fruit at such a young age. So I'm going to cut those things off of there. And uh, you should do the same thing until your trees are a little bigger. What you really want is growth. See, I cut the flower off of this one a while back. Now you're getting all these buds. You want these things to grow, get big, get bigger before they decide to feed you. So anyway, just more tips from Scary Harry Gary, a.k.a. Uh, Silverback, Bigfoot, Cro-Mag, Link, Beast, Animal. Uh, what else did they call me? You know, whatever. Uh, chupa yeah so there you go don't let them flower people if they're too small please if you need mangoes <laughs> we'll have these things ready to go in uh hopefully summer of 2024 they're just too little you want them bigger than this we're going to grow them up for you get them nice and strong all right that's it goldengatepalms.com come visit us subscribe to the channel put some likes up there do all that funny stuff yeah see ya